So I want to talk a little bit about the PicKit 3 programmer, the PicKit 3 programmer software, and the MPLAB IPE integrated programming environment software. So at the moment I have a PicKit 3 plugged in. I've fired up the PicKit 3 programmer software. It's detected the device. And the thing to note here is that the PitKit 3 hardware can really run in one of two different operating modes. It can have the PitKit operating system on it, which works with this software, or it can be set to run with the MP Lab IPE software. Uh, and we can go in here and we can actually pick uh, the PitKit 3 hex file. And what it'll do here is it will download that to the PitKit 3. It should reconnect here and be successful. And this pick is now, you know, set for pit kit operating system. It was already in that mode, but I wanted to demonstrate that. So, if we open up now the MPLAB IPE software, which will load up here, let me get uh, everything in view. We can see that it found a processor. So I went out the USB bus and said, "Hey, you know, any pick programmers out there?" Yes. But if I try to connect to it, it'll fail here. So I'll take it a second to time out. Well, more than a second. There it is. It, it couldn't actually establish communications to it, and that's because the PitKit 3 that's plugged in is in that PitKit operating system mode. So I'm going to remove the power from the PitKit 3. I'm going to hold down the little black button on the front I'm going to plug the USB power back in and then release the button, which I've now done. And if we try to connect here again, we should get a connection. So by holding that little button down on the front, I told the Pit Kit 3 when it was powered up to come up in MP Lab mode, which it did. Uh, the IPE has now said I was look you know I was looking at a core PIC32 MX250 device that's downloading the software for that device that needs to be programmed and that download failed. I wonder why. Let's try to connect again and see what we get. I haven't seen this fail before. This pit kit may be, this pit kit 3 may be my cheap Chinese knockoff. I've got three of them, one of which is a cheap Chinese knockoff. Downloading RS. Okay, there it went. For whatever reason, the second attempt, it got RS downloaded. And it's now programming RS. So there's two things it downloads to convert the pit kit 3 into MP Lab compatibility mode. Oh, there's actually th a third thing, AP comes down as well. Actually, I guess it's the two things, RS and AP, along with the bootloader. So we should have now converted that pit kit 3, and, you know, it's, it's still programming here, into the MP Lab mode. Uh, with you know firmware downloaded to it that's compatible with the MP Lab X IDE. This is normal. I don't have any targets to program connected, so it doesn't see anything. But if we go back now and run the PitKit 3 software, it'll see the same device, but it tells us it's an MP Lab mode. I can't use it. To get this back to PitKit 3 compatible, we could go in and push the PitKit 3 operating system down to it. But we won't do that here. So let's get MP Lab IPE loaded back up. Get it back sized onto the screen. Let me get a target to program here. Connecting the uh, PitKit 3 to the programming adapter that I built and applying power to the programming adapter. And if we connect now, This tells us the firmware versions it's got, and it actually detected a, a, a PIC32 MX250 processor, which is perfect. That's exactly what we expected. So we took that PitKit 3 that was in the PitKit 3 operating system mode, we converted it over to MP Lab mode, 
and we've actually got it seeing, like I say, a uh, PIC32 MX250 F128B in a DIP28 package, which is excellent. Uh, we can go ahead here and just pick a file to program. So here's a file I want to program to the device. We'll go ahead and let it program here as a demonstration that this works. Takes it a second. The PIT Kit 3 is not the fastest to program these large devices. And it's happy that processor has been programmed. So if I wanted to toggle that PIT Kit 3, you know, back to the PIT Kit operating system, let's go ahead and do that. I know we mentioned it. So it connected to a, a PIT Kit 3, but it said, hey, it's got the wrong operating system on it. So let's go ahead in here and actually push down the PIT Kit 3 software again to it. It's downloading it. I think right now it's actually programming it. There's another piece downloaded to be programmed. And it's converted it back over to PIT Kit 3 and it's connected and it says, yeah, I'm happy. So anyhow, I thought I'd just demonstrate that quick. Uh, and we'll talk soon.